Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Alexis, aka Transcinderella, and today we have some exciting Disney Dreamlight Valley update news. The first patch has dropped. So let's go ahead, dive right into those patch notes, and see what's changed. Alright, so the patch notes officially dropped at 1pm today, so that's why I'm, I'm a little late in getting this up, just because I was working, you know, like a lot of you are. And so, uh, you should be able to uh, have downloaded the patch by now um there were some initial reports of it and it even says here it may take up to two hours to receive it on your device um i haven't actually even checked my pc yet i came straight home i actually got a tattoo um and we're worried i just wanted to get into this so i haven't checked yet but i've seen reports on facebook throughout the day already saying that there were some issues um but most of that was like hey i didn't wait long enough so just keep that in mind so First things first, balance. Uh, balance, you know, this is not a multiplayer game yet, um, so balance is more along the lines of, like, drop rates and things like that. And so a lot of what they're doing is adjusting and making things a little bit easier to, to deal with. So you are seeing an increased respawn timer range. So um, how quickly things respawn is kind of being tweaked, but they're also reducing the minimum and maximum number of items that are, are when you see a sparkle area for digging, you know, only so much will, will, uh, both the reduced minimum and maximum so that you won't have as many. Um, but it's, it's a lot of, it's just like, sure you're not getting the same stuff. Uh, but the important thing here, this is because this is affecting a lot of players is the increased uh, dream shards being the dream shards being added to the reward loot table getting dream shards has been a huge problem for some people um the drop rate's not super great on them and considering that there is a quest later in the game that you absolutely need a bunch of them for um too many people have used their dream shards and converted them into dreamlight kind of makes sense you're taught to at the beginning of the game loop and then you're not told that you're going to need to save a bunch later. So this should help improve that. Um, still definitely save those dream charts. And so you have a chance to either get one to two night shards or one to two dream charts. That's good because you're going to need both. Some other changes we've seen um, loot tables being adjusted for feeding critters because uh, a lot of times when I feed a critter, I get flowers and it's like, oh, Great. I, that, I can just go pick those. Um, that's not fun. So they've taken that out, and now you're getting more chances to get Dream Shards. So that's awesome. Again, the more you get Dream Shards, the better situation. Um, we're also seeing adjustments on for the Night Thorns. When you're clearing them, less coal, increased Dream... <laughs> you see a theme here. More Dream Shards. Uh, so the developers have been paying attention. They realized... We, people need more of these. They actually had already sent out an email, or, like, email, um, an in-game mail where you got 25 Dream Shards, and like, hey, you're going to need these, so maybe hold on to them. Um, now we definitely know. So there are also some bug fixes. There, are, And again, this is early access. We should expect a lot of these patch notes moving forward. I don't know if they'll be on a weekly basis, but, you know, the fact that they put out the first patch so quickly is a very good sign. But, we were seeing fixed error number seven. I never experienced this, um, but it was an issue experiencing a, a lot of players experienced. So that seems to be fixed. Um, this problem where your account was desyncing uh, when you were going back to the title screen, specifically to the Epic Game Store, that's something I've had a huge problem with. Um, when I do a cloud save, I have to log in every time. And it's really annoying because it's like, that means it's not connecting. Right now, I'm not cross-playing so it's not really affecting me but if i was i'd be way more frustrated we're also seeing um and desynchronization because of connection latency that's another problem i've seen a lot of like i'll suddenly lose it'll say i'm not online i'm like uh yeah i am i'm like i'm on that i like it happened to me i think while i was streaming and i'm like I, I'm very clearly online, so this is a an improved online connection while reconnection while playing. Like that is something clearly they are still working on. It's probably why multiplayer is not immediately in the game. 
Um, and we're also seeing uh, some fixes to your founders pack rewards. Uh, so this is one's a little bit more complicated. Uh, you may still need to do the whole reboot cycle if you haven't gotten your founders pack rewards yet. Um, and then you'll get like an, again, an in-game mail in your mailbox. That's what happened to me. I re I redid it or like did a reboot. Then all of a sudden I was able to access everything. I did run into the whole syncing issue with the cloud saves, but I, at least this time I was able to say, you know, claim anyway, and I've got all my stuff. Uh, for the Switch users, and a lot of this is a lot of these updates are focused on Switch users, just so you know. Um, so if you are a Switch player, this is good news for you. Um, improved, in, increased t font text size. The, the Switch is already tiny, tiny text, not good. Improvements on the menu loading speed, that's also good because I know that was a big problem for a lot of people. But more, most importantly, reduced crash frequency. Now, it doesn't say they've eliminated crashes, but it does mean the game will be more stable on Switch. That's something my kids were having a huge problem with because they play on Switch and the game was crashing and you know they'd lose progress and stuff like that. That's kind of frustrating. There's also some bug fixes for various quests. Um, a few with Scrooge, and a lot of this is like the quest didn't work under certain circumstances. Now a lot of that is taken care of. Um, a lot of these were things, items spawning in places where you couldn't reach it. They have fixed that. So um, go through, make sure you check out uh, the Disney Dreamlight Valley website, and I'll have a link in this uh, video so that way you can go straight to this article um, where you can read through the individual quests. I'm not going to go through each and every one. But several quests have been fixed, um, including repairing uh, Donald's boat and a few issues with Scrooge McDuck's uh, store and things like that. So a lot of different idea uh, different issues are being resolved, along with issues where, like, if you had a chest and then you upgraded it, uh, you upgraded your house and then suddenly the, the newly crafted chest disappeared. Like, they, they have fixed stuff like this, um, as well as... Uh, they've adjusted the Miguel motif. I have not used the Miguel motif yet, so I don't know what the issue is, but apparently it's been adjusted. So, just, you know, a nice little set of bug fixes. The fact that they're fixing the quests and all that stuff is really important. So just a couple final thoughts. It's really important for a game like this, being in early access, that the developers respond quickly to issues and adjust, because that is what this is for we are paying to essentially pay a play a bug a buggy game knowing full well that they're going to be fixing it the fact that they're fixing things right away that's a very good sign that makes me feel a lot better about dropping 70 dollars on a game that's not done like not even close to being done so really like seeing a patch essentially one week after launch there are some issues i'd like to see addressed um, for one thing, my star path, I can't buy most of the stuff. It's just telling me this can't be done. I don't know why. I have the Pixar balls for it, but it wasn't letting me buy things, and it wasn't telling me why it couldn't. I couldn't do it. it just said this could not be completed at, the, at that time. That's a bit frustrating, um, but I think we've got some time to get that worked through. I'm not horribly worried about that, so... It is what it is. Um, so, ho But hopefully they do fix that. So what do you think about the patch notes and the changes coming so far? Are you enjoying the game? Do you think it's just still too buggy? Is it is it unstable? I, I don't have that problem, but I know some Switch users do. I've seen some people say they regret getting it on Switch. Wish they would have done it on a different console because they have access to an Xbox, that sort of thing. Um, my kids have loved it on Switch, though. So I... I've not seen some of those issues, but I do know that they are out there. I would love to hear what you think. How's the game for you? Is it stable? Let us know in the comments below. Um, really want to know all about your gameplay experience so far, what you think about the bug, bug fixes as well. Are they helping you progress further in the game? I'd love to know. So let, that, let us know in the comments. Um, don't forget, hit that like button. Maybe even consider subscribing. I would very much appreciate it. It is probably the most helpful thing you can do for us. So please, 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 please consider subscribing. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And of course, as always, have courage and be kind.
especially to yourself. You are